of the things I've learned in my career is you know uh, something is substantial when the award is hefty. <laughs> and I will say this award has the appropriate amount of heft for this community. Um, so I, I'm Jason Hunley, CEO and founder of Crossbow Systems. Um, we are indeed developing a new campus. It is a first of its kind in the world uh, for advanced manufacturing of solid rocket motors and the associated functions around solid rocket motors. Uh, so uh, I'll give you guys a choice. I know it's sort of the end of the lunch. I have two talks prepared. Um, one is a one hour history thesis of solid rocket motor propulsion. Um, the other is an engineering joke. Um, one takes 30 seconds, one takes an hour. So I've got all day. Uh, no, actually I will tell my engineering joke. So uh, does anybody know the difference between an extroverted and an introverted engineer? An extroverted engineer will stare at your shoes where an introverted engineer stares at their own shoes. <laughs> So uh, I will be very, very brief, but I did want to explain something on the decisions and the reasons that we are really in San Marcos in this greater community. Um, we did a nationwide search for this campus. We looked at about 10 different states and 15 different sites. Uh, we needed an appropriate amount of space, but uh, one of the highest factors that we looked at was the local community engagement and support for bringing in business. And I can say this without a doubt, it has been an absolute pleasure working with Trey, working with Mark Mayo, working with the mayor, working with Luling, Hoppy. The real secret innovation that this area has is that local community support and the people. And so understanding that this award is named for one of your local titans of industry, that DNA and that culture, that legacy, is the number one reason that Crossbow is in the greatest San Marco area. And we will be bringing in, uh, I think, on the order of, I've got construction activities going on right now. Um, we are got open hiring activities going on. I've got interns galore running over our site right now. If you ever hear loud noises at the old Luling Airport area, we do testing of our solid rocket motors on a weekly basis. Um, we have national interest. We have uh, other national interest. But I just wanted to leave you sort of like the niche of solid rocket motors, because I am assuming most of you are not aerospace professionals and PhDs. But uh, solid rocket motors, for those of you who don't know uh, the difference, uh, SpaceX with their Falcon 9 is in our industry, it's what's powered by liquid fuel. Um, we use a different type of chemistry. It is, it's basically, uh, you bake it like a cake and it is actually a solid. It's kind of very similar to what's in hobby rockets and everything else. But the uh, ubiquitous use of solid rocket motors, um, if anybody has not watched the news in the last two years, um, every missile that's in production today is typically powered by a solid rocket motor. And currently, we just happen to be in a worldwide crisis. Um, the US and Europe and Asia has used more solid rocket motors in the last 18 months than we've used in the last century. We have a national crisis where this has been identified as one of the top five national crises is the solid rocket motor industrial base because if we cannot produce the propulsion that powers missiles in a timely fashion, um, we are rapidly running out of supplying Ukraine with missiles and munitions. Europe is running out. The technology that we're bringing to the San Marcos area reduces the time and cost and speed of manufacture by an order of magnitude. What we are opening in San Marcos literally is the future. It is decades ahead of any other company in this industry because the industry is atrophied for so long. 
and we are excited and we are thrilled to be contributing to the national security crisis, to be able to bring our technology forward and to showcase this advanced manufacturing campus that we are creating with our partners right there in Luling. And Major C uh, Mayor CJ, I love working with Luling. Um, anybody that's thinking of footprinting a business, you should go talk to Mark Mayo, Trey, and the mayor. They have been a pleasure to work with, and we love the idea of continuing to grow, build relationships with Texas State, um, local businesses and communities, because we are gonna be facing engineering and manufacturing challenges and technology challenges, and I'll be happy to have a conversation where I stare at your shoes, and then you can stare at your own, or you can stare at my shoes as a background of an engineer. But thank you very much. Appreciate it. Can you stay up here just for a little bit? If yeah. You don't mind. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, here in a little bit, I'm, I'm going to thank everybody who helped put this event together, but uh, I love the representatives from, from Caldwell County and from Luling uh, to join us afterwards, uh, take some pictures with Crossbow here and uh, our past recipients. Uh, Christy, if you'd come back up for a little while. And in her defense, they spell it Expo. And I told, I told our staff, uh, I'm like Ron Burgundy, if you know that reference, I'll read what's ever on. Uh, a, a panel, so it is C-R-O-S-S -S in my notes uh, today, so anybody could make that mistake. Uh, want to thank you all again for being here. Want to thank our sponsors uh, for your participation uh, and your involvement in our region, in our community, and economic development. It is essential uh, to what we do here, and it's essential to what our future is going to look like. So. Uh, I also, before we get away, I want you all to give a, a very loud applause um, to our staff and our consultants who put months into this work. <laughs> and uh, have done a first class job uh, today. And as somebody who's been uh, working with them intimately for the past few months, I want you to know that you have a first class staff, the Greater San Marcos Partnership. So thank you again for being here today.